Okay, it's late winter now, and this is probably about the time of year where I know I and probably a lot of you start getting curious. So I thought I'd make a quick video checking on some of my hives to hopefully satisfy some of your curiosity um, and see what the bees are up to this time of year. Okay, I've got bees in a couple different style of wraps. Um, uh, simpler plastic wraps, and then this is a big heavy duty wrap more common in the western provinces. But I wanted to take a look at these and just show you what, what these bees are doing. So by digging into our hives, we're really not doing them any favors this time of year, but I'm doing this more just to make the video, but there's a couple things I want to show you. So as part of testing some different winter wraps this year, I'm actually using one of these um, sort of cameras that can measure heat radiating off of things. So we can actually get an image of what the bees look like without cracking open the colonies. So let me get the camera over here. Okay, this colony is an easy one because I can pull away this insulation with my hands. So we just have the wooden inner cover and I can actually show you a picture that I can take with this gun. So I can see that the cluster is towards the center of the image. And just for reference, I'll put my hand in here. There, so there's a picture with my hand on the side and you can see the warmth coming off the cluster of bees in the middle. And now, just out of curiosity, I'm gonna lift off this inner cover and see what's going on. And you can hear the bees. And there they are inside. It's a big cluster of bees and I can actually see feed. I'll bring the camera over in a second. I want to take an image here and show you. I'm getting a temperature over, over 28 degrees Celsius right on these bees here. Anywhere from 25 to 29. And then when I put it to the side, it's about four degrees Celsius outside of the cluster of bees on the outside frames. Okay, I wanna show you right close up. Cause these are singles, remember? The way I manage most of my hives. It's a full cluster of bees. And you can see, should be able to see on this outside frame. So I can see, for example, right up here, there's still quite a lot of honey stored in these frames. And these bees look great, they smell great, they look dry. I'm really happy. Okay, I'm gonna close these up so they don't stay exposed to the cold for too long. But I can use that gun to very quickly tell without actually looking at my bees in cold temperatures if they're alive or not simply by if we can see a heat pattern coming off of them. Okay let's look at a different uh, single just wrapped by itself here. Let's see what's going on here. So for this one I've actually been trying to just get a reading off the front entrance here but I can't seem to be able can't seem to be able to really get a warm temperature reading so maybe that tells me that something's wrong with this hive I'm gonna look into it here Try once again without the wrap on. Well, there looks like a small amount of heat coming out that hole. Oh, what I could do, if I can just move this, I can move the insulation a little bit. 
then I can see it's four or five degrees on there. And what do they look like? See, that's a smaller cluster of bees, if you can see. Let me get the camera off, I'll show you right up close. See, that's, that's a relatively small cluster of bees for what I'd like to see this time of year. I think they'll probably still make it, but they're not ideal. One of the advantages of this style of, of wrap, like individual colonies wrapped just on their own, is that without really digging into the hives too much, I can just take a lift from the back and I can feel how heavy or light they are. And after you do that enough times, you really get to know what a good colony should feel like with lots of feed left. To me, that feels relatively light. And I could see on some of these outside frames that they're getting kind of empty. The problem is our bees this time of year, when it's this cold, and the bees are just nice and tightly clustered, they really don't take down feed. Yeah, they really don't take down feed well, so um, when it comes to trying to feed them like a liquid syrup, it's nearly impossible right now to get them to actually consume that. So if I was really worried, um, I think the best way to go about it is to find some heavy frames that already have their honey stored away in them, maybe from a dead colony, if you're unlucky and find a dead one, um, or maybe you had some honey frames left over from last fall, and you can actually just replace a really light empty frame right now with a heavy frame of honey, and the bees will actually be able to cluster right around that and feed on that. Where as it comes to putting like a frame feeder or some sort of top feeder of sugar syrup, they're really not active enough to get that liquid sugar and store it properly and consume it. Um, so I might do that, I'm not gonna do it today. I'm not worried about them starving right now, but maybe next week, if I find some heavy frames like that, I'll look for colonies like this, and I'll be able to replace them, replace some frames that way. So, it just shows you this, with very little heat coming out the front entrance, I was able to diagnose um, a pretty weak hive that is probably gonna need some help if it's gonna make it these next the next month or so before um, it's really nice weather again. Okay, I also wanted to show just some some like defecation on the front of the colonies. In a colony like this, you can see the brown streaking outside the, the top entrance there. That's pretty normal. Actually, that doesn't bother me at all. Even this one here, there's quite a bit, but it's not a big deal. It's just those bees, as they rush to get out the front door, they're leaving some streaks a little bit. But I saw another colony over here. It's actually a double brood chamber that I don't have wrapped really well, but I'll show you. And have a look, see that? That's a little more than I'd like to see. Um, I wonder if you can actually see the bees I can, it's quite bright enough. There's one poking her head out. Um, so this colony is alive, um, but all that defecation on the front of this colony could be a sign that they're a little more stressed than they should be. Um, so I have actually seen that sometimes when a colony um, does unfortunately starve, um, they get really stressed towards the end and um, they, they may defecate this much. It could be a sign of um, of another disease like nosema, but not necessarily. Generally, when we do see a lot of defecation though, it is a sign that the bees are more stressed out than they should be. I'll keep my eye on that colony there for the rest of this winter, but luckily we only have a few more weeks and then all this should be over with and the grass should start growing again. Okay, I'm out of here for now. Thanks for watching. Um, so if you are worried about bees starving late in the in the winter and you think it's still going to get really cold, cold, too cold for the bees to really be active, try that trick by sliding in a heavy frame of already stored honey 
or um, I know a lot of people are, are into using like a fondant candy board style feed. Uh, I have really no experience with that, but um, it'll probably give you better luck than trying to feed them liquid at this time of year anyway. And if you're curious about this um, heat sensitive gun that I got, um, this is the brand FLIR, F-L-I-R, and this model is uh, TG165 for what that's worth if you're interested in checking out something like this. It could be handy, um, it's probably not that useful if you just have a few colonies, but for commercial beekeepers, if you really want to be quick in the late, late winter checking out what's alive and dead, this might be able to help you a lot. Thanks for watching.